Dear students, in this video, I will answer your question number 8 from Pearson and Excel A level exam. For statistics 1, this exam was taken in January 2024. The random variable x is normally distributed with mean mu and variance 36. Given that probability of mu minus 2k is less than x less than mu plus 2k is equal to 0 0.6. Find the value of k. This question is taken from normal distribution. Mean is mu and variance is given here. That is 36. Variance is represented by sigma square. That is equal to 36. We could get the value of sigma from here. That is called standard deviation. So take square root of 36. We get the answer for it. That is 6. For the first part, x is normally distributed with mean mu. This is the formula or uh, expression to write the normal distribution mu comma sigma square. We already got the value of sigma standard division that is 6 mu comma 6 square. So the bell, uh, bell curve uh, help us to solve the questions related to normal distribution. I already drew the bell curve for it uh, for the random variable x that is x and uh, value of x lies between these two, uh, two numbers. Okay, mu minus 2k and mu plus 2k. So here uh, 2k is subtracted from mu and 2k is added to mu. Okay, so same value is subtracted from mu and same value is added to the mu. So once you subtract here, so the this value should be written on the left side of mu. Mu minus 2k. And here on the right side it will be mu plus 2k. The area between these two numbers or values is 0 0.6 that is given in the question. This area is given. Right? This area is 0 0.6. Got it? Look here. This area is 0 0.6 uh, between these two numbers. If the middle part is 0 0.6, the remaining part will be 0 0.4. Okay. So remaining part 0 0.4 will be divided into two equal parts because these two areas are equal as well. Because you are adding uh, same value to mean and same value to uh, subtractor same value from mean. So these two areas are equal as well. So 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. Total probability is always equals to 1. So remaining part of 0 0.6 will be 0 0.4 and that will be divided into two equal parts. So this probability is 0 0.2 as well and this is 0 0.2. We will convert this. Uh, normal distribution into standardized normal distribution. So what is a standardized normal distribution? For standardized normal distribution, the middle value is 0 corresponding to this one. Okay, And here we will get the positive z value and on the left side negative z value. From the figure, you can write as probability of x less than this value mu plus 2k this area is equals to 0 0.8. You know, on the left side of this area uh, of this value is 0 0.6 and 0 0.2. So you add all of them and it will be 0 0.8 for sure. Now you need to get the value of z, the corresponding value of z against this value. And uh, what is the area on the left side of this z value? This whole area, this one. Okay. Uh, this is also equals to 0 0.8. This area is also equals to 0 0.8. Now, we can write the formula for z. How to get it? That is equals to x minus mu divided by sigma. This is the formula to find the z value. This is x. This one is equals to x for sure. Capital X. So replace over here, you get the value of z. So z will be equals to mu plus 2k minus mu divided by sigma. This mu will cancel out. And we already got the value of sigma, that is 6. Uh, better you write here 6. We can change this into 6. So z will be equals to 2k divided by 6. And value of z will be equals to k over 3. Got it? Now, implies that now you converted this uh, normal distribution into standardized normal distribution in which z is less than k over 3. 
that is also equals to 0 0.8. Now from Z table you will get the probability you get because area is given this is the area uh, in, in, in Z table this is represented by Z of phi of Z okay 0 0.8 is the area and from the table you can get the value of Z from the table how to get it from the table I will show you now this is the Z table and here this is the area this phi of Z is the area from here find 0 0.8 where is 0 0.8 because this column is area this one you will look below this one the value that is the closest to 8 is this one okay so corresponding to this area value of Z is 0 0.84 like this you will find the value of z from the table therefore value of z from the table is equals to 0 0.84 got it now we replace the value of z we already got this value of z over here so replace z with k over 3 and answer will be equals to 0 0.84 now 3 will multiply to the other side and we get the answer as k equals to 2.52 So this is the first part, first part is done. Let's go into the second part. The random variable y is normally distributed with mean mu and standard deviation sigma. Given that 2 mu equals to 3 sigma square and probability of y is greater than 3 over 2 mu equals to 0 0.0668. Find the value of mu and the value of sigma. We will start from here. Probability of y is greater than 3 over 2, mu is equal to 0 0.0668. For second part b, the random variable y is normally distributed. So we can write it here mean mu and sigma square. In the question, it is given that probability of y, y is greater than 3 over 2, mu is equals to 0 0.0668 so we can draw here a bell curve to represent this area the random variable i and uh, mean is always in the middle let's say mean is here that is mu and uh, y is very little area uh, that is 0 0.068 okay this area is 0 0.068 small area 0.668 and here this value is 3 over 2 mu okay this is the value uh, more than this representing this area now you can uh, draw here a bell curve for the standardized normal distribution because we have to convert this uh, normal distribution to standardized normal distribution corresponding to mean uh, mean is 0 and corresponding to this value below this that is the z value we can get it by using this formula y minus mean divided by sigma here random variable is y therefore we are writing here y minus mu normally the standard formula for finding z is equals to x minus mu divided by sigma uh, because here random variable is y therefore i am writing here y minus mu divided by sigma mu and sigma are not given here we have to find by using uh, by converting this into the standard standardized normal distribution this area is also the same 0 0.0668 got it here you can find the value of z y is 3 over 2 mu minus mu divided by sigma okay uh, this is the value of y z will be equals to uh, solving the numerator that is equals to 3 over 2 mu minus 1 is 1 over mu, 1 over 2 1 over 2 mu divided by sigma in the question the value of mu we can get uh, because let me go back uh, we can get the value of mu from here from the question we can get the value of mu that is equals to 3 over 2 sigma square plug in this value over here so we get the answer of z as 1 over 2 into 3 by 2 sigma square divided by sigma 
divide by sigma. This sigma will cancel out with sigma square. So answer of z is equals to 3 over 4 sigma. This is the normal distribution. Now you convert it into the standardized normal distribution. So probability of z, we already got the value of z that is equals to this one, 3 over 4 sigma. is equals to 0 0.0668 as we know that we cannot find uh, this value greater value from the table therefore we have to find this area okay you can convert this one into this one you have to find this area then subtract this area from one to get the required result this one could be converted into from one minus probability of z less than 3 over 4 sigma okay will be equals to 0 0.0668 this goes to the right side and you can subtract this one from 1 to get the required area probability of z less than 3 over 4 will be equals to 1 minus 0 0.0668 and that is equals to use calculator to get this answer 0.9332 so probability of z less than 3 over 4 sigma is given as 0.93342 now you look at the table z table corresponding value of this area will give you the z value from the table let me show you find out 0.9332 so corresponding to this value value of z is 1.57 this is the area actually okay this one is the area and corresponding to this z value is 1.50 from the table from the z table we will get the value of z that is equal to 1.50 we already got the value of z that is equals to 3 over 4 sigma so replace z with 3 over 4 sigma equals to 1.50 this 4 multiply over there that will give you 6 and uh, this one will divide this 6 by 3 and sigma will be equals to 2 we know that mu is equal to plug in this value over there so you get the answer for me that is equals to 3 over 2 into 2 square that will be equals to 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 so mean is 6 so this is the answer for the second part. We got the values of sigma and mean. This is all about question number eight. If you have any question, uh, ask me in the comment box. Thank you so much.